happen in the past, possibly. Yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, you know, if, 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 if people want to decide uh, to put those statues in a, in, a, um, in a museum or something and put other statues up, but, but and again, who the, who the hell hasn't got a warts and hall? You know what I mean? What, I don't quote the Bible very much, but let he who hath no sin cast the first stone is a good one. Um, and, and like I said uh, uh, earlier, if we're not, if we're not streetwise and informed, you can get groups of people motivated and driven by an organization funded by the same network behind slavery to demand that statues are brought down or indeed pull them down with chains because of their connection to slavery. Eh? Crazy man. But this is what happens when you don't get informed and, and, and you just react instead of uh, look at the wider, the wider picture. Um, and okay, um, slavery was appalling. But don't let's kid ourselves that it ended, just taking a different form. Slavery is massive in the world today. Children trafficking, people trafficking, um, endless around the world. And the human race in itself is enslaved because of its inability to make uh, choices, thus have the freedom to decide its own destiny because of the impositions. Um, upon them, not least economic. So don't let's get the idea that slavery was a period. Slavery is still going on today, and all slavery needs to be addressed. And we're only go uh, um, and and you know, what is more enslaved than someone who acquiesces to authority without question? That's self enslavement. And if we want to be free then we have to demand freedom, not just demand freedom, we have to act freedom. So when people say you're going to do this, you just don't do it. If you think this is enslaving, uh, uh, or this is, this is enslaving, or this is destroying my freedom, legitimate freedom in a, a free society, like you must do this, you must do that, you must wear a mask, then if you acquiesce to it, then we're enslaving ourselves. Do you want to wear that mask? Well, no, I, I think it's ridiculous. But I better do it because this, this, this bloke in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, a peak cap just told me I've got to. But I'll do it. And, it, and if, if more and more people, enough people don't do it, then the guy in the peak cap's got no power whatsoever. But we give our power to these people. We talk about, oh, he's just the job's worth, you know, you know all that stuff. Well, well, don't do what he says then. You know, the, the answers are staring us in the face. The few control the many of all colors, creeds, because the many give their power to the few. We've got to stop doing it and stop being divided and fighting among ourselves so we, um, we don't focus on that which is enslaving all of us. You know, it's, um, it's crazy. And why this is important, so vital at the time we're talking here, is that um, what has happened with this lockdown and this virus hoax and what is happening with this um, racial divide and rule is, is part of an ongoing sequence. And if we go on acquiescing, ladies and gentlemen, and fighting among ourselves, that sequence is going to reach fruition. And I, I would ask, uh, people who, 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 who are more focused on pulling down a statue than asking why um, kids are, 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 are chalked off in a playground. What, what is going to happen at the end of this sequence? See, what this period of protest and in some cases looting and thuggery has had many reasons why it's happening now. And one of them is to divert attention from what's just happened. We have been lied to 
about a virus and its deadly nature. We have had, um, we have a, um, a test for the virus that doesn't test for the virus. We're just told it does. We are told that people are dying of the virus when what's happening is monumental numbers of death certificates have got COVID-19 on them when the person died of anything but. We had a, a, a quote from a doctor, um, a British doctor, um, Malcolm Kendrick, I think his name was, works for the National Health Service in Britain. He said in, a, in, in a, an article uh, a couple of weeks ago that he knows that other doctors we're putting COVID-19 on the death certificate for all deaths from early March onwards, right? So this is where the death figures are coming from. Redesignated diagnosis and COVID-19 on death certificates. In places like America, they have thousands of dollars a time incentives to do that. We've had Imperial College issue computer models that anyone with a smear of intelligence could see from the start were